Good evening ladies, gents and Pikachus, just a quick comment response. I just got sent an invite to a debate by a Mr. Trier 3 and it's exactly like all the other ones. I said if you can answer me one question, honestly yes or no, I will debate you for as long as you want over any subject. And that question is this, do you follow and believe Allah's command that you should kill all the non-believers, yes or no? And like all the others before him, oh it doesn't say that. It says that, okay? It doesn't even say that just once. It continuously repeats this throughout every single book. Al Bakra says it like 50 times, and then the final page says it again. Al Imran says it many, many times, and at the end of that book says it again. Throughout the portion of Sharia, it goes into detail of how and why you should be doing this, in detail. But you can't answer it, because you know in your head it's wrong. You have to deny your Quran in order to uphold its command. And that is why I say to you, you cannot be a good Muslim, it is impossible, physically impossible for you. Because on one hand, Allah tells you, do not conceal or hide the truth of his holy Quran, so you have to admit to it and you have to back it. He also says, do not pick and choose the verses, you either follow all of it or none of it, and in which case you're an infidel. So you have to follow it. You can't pick this bit and that bit and not that bit that says, kill all the non-believers. But also he says, if you cover the sins of your brothers and preach up your Quran, then you shall be loved the most. So if you do that, if you preach up and cover the sins of killing everybody else on earth who isn't a Muslim, then you'll be loved the most, but you won't be following the whole of the Quran, you'll be picking and choosing verses. So you cannot possibly follow both of those commands. You can either tell the truth and say you do believe it, and you think Allah is correct, that you should kill all the non-believers, or you deny it and you cover it up and say it doesn't say that in there and you preach up and cover the sins of your brothers but you cannot physically do both things and so I will not debate you then what's the point in me debating you when you can't even answer a simple question like that that everybody on earth knows the answer to who has read your holy Quran and the answer is yes if you're a Muslim and you believe in Allah you think you should kill all the non-believers you just think that because Allah tells you if you don't you're next to an infidel and you will burn in his evil fire forever and will your family. So don't try and swindle me. I've got four Qurans and I am reading all of them verse by verse accurately. In fact, I would say over the last three months, there is barely a Muslim alive who has read more Quran than I have. I have spent four, maybe five or six or more hours every single day without missing a day reading the Quran accurately, translating it accurately and commenting on what I found in there. Understand that, how much Quran I have read in three months, every single day. How much have you been reading? How much, have, when was the last time you even read a whole book of Quran? From verse one to the last verse. Could you even tell me how many verses are in each book? I can tell you the amount of verses in each book because I've been reading them that often. And so I'll say again, it says in the Quran, Allah in quotes says personally himself to you, you should kill all non-believers. So if you don't believe Allah when he says that to you in quotes personally, then you're not a Muslim. And I will not debate you because why would I debate someone who doesn't even believe in it? All right? But I'm glad you don't believe in it because it's filthy, genocidal, murderous nonsense that Allah has put in your head. So that's the end of this video. No debate for you, I'm afraid. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed that and you learnt something, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. And of course, after this, you'll dislike and rude comment this video because I'm an evil infidel. I'm lying. I must be. But I'm not. Read it yourself. It 100% says you must kill all non-believers, and if you don't, you're an infidel. So think about that. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.